So the second video of our striker series that look where we look at what strikers Man United can buy or should buy this summer. And next striker is a player that should make night Man United one of the strongest title favourites next season. So I since seen by the thumbnail when the title is Harry Kane. Now Harry Kane at the end of this season will have a year left on his contract. He will probably be out of the Champions League spots with Spurs with the way their season go with Conte just leaving. So he might be the time that he finally moves on from Spurs and finally the time he looks to actually win trophies in his career. And could Man United be the only and most probable destination? Yeah. We'll first look at Kane's goal scoring record, which is pretty ridiculous to be honest. So his debut season, 29 goals in 37 starts and 49 appearances. Amazing. And he just carried on strong from there. 28 goals, 35 goals, 41 goals, 24 goals, 24 goals, 28 goals, 25 goals, 23 goals. And that's already just this season, 23 goals. So he could reach 30, probably. Probably. He hasn't got any other competition of the Premier League, so maybe not. But yeah. So you can see here, in a Spurs team, which isn't, you know, the best, isn't it? It isn't Man City. It isn't like the Real Madrid's, but... In some decent Spurs teams, in some bad Spurs teams, he's consistently scoring. He's consistently a goal for it. Minimum 25 goals a season, basically, if you sign Harry Kane. And what is, you've seen Adam the last few seasons, starting 2021, 16 assists, then 10 assists, and 4 assists this season. He's underperforming as expected assists, so it's teammates finishing, especially with someone like Son, who's dropped off massively this season. That's probably affected that. But yeah, he's added the playmaking to his game, and we'll discuss that later, but these are the stats that you want to look at. A striker gets your goals. You need your striker to be that goal threat. And these stats show that Harry Kane's goal threat. Even for England, recently become the top scorer all-time for England. 53 goals, even got 13 assists. But in all competitions, in his Spurs career, he has been a goal machine. Right, let's look at some pros. Fight sign Harry Kane. There's quite a few. It's Harry Kane. All-round game. Left foot, right foot, headed, he's got it all. He's got 10 headed goals this season. This season, that, that's really, really good. 41 career goals to his left foot. Again, that's very good. That's more than most players' career goals. Whatever the position is, or in around the box, in the box, outside the box, he is a threat to score. He is an Oshman where really it's only in the box where he's the threat. Outside the box, inside the box, he's a threat to score. But not only to score, to play and make. His passing numbers have been elite over the past year. Compared to players in the top five leagues over the past year, 1.49 key passes per 90, 85th percentile. Top 2.59 passes into final third per 90, 95th percentile. 1.25 passes into penalty area per 90, 90th percentile. 4.73 progressive passes per 90, 95th percentile. 3.68 shot creating actions per 90, 89th percentile. 0.54 goal creating actions per 90, 88th percentile. Elite, elite numbers compared to other thought forwards. He is, he can do everything there is to be up front. Dribbling, he's got that as well. He's a good carrier of the ball. He's good protecting the ball. He's not obviously flashy with it, but he's a good, he's a decent player who can hold on to the ball quite well. And that's with both back to goal and in front of goal. So that's a very also... Good asset. That's something Oshman doesn't really have in his game yet. Secondly, world class. It's just this. Like, come on, it's Harry Kane. Knows the league. Big, big important factor. Because not only have players been able to under not stop him for the past decade in the Premier League, but he also knows how to get past other players, what to do against some defenders, what not to do. That's something like players like Oshman or Goncalo Ramos don't have. They don't know the league. They don't know the players they're playing with and playing against. Kane knows it. Everything about every defender in the Premier League already. That's um, and he's already, you know, doing bits against them. That's a massive factor when playing into playing by players from the league. That's why play, buying players from your own league is more expensive because they just know the league. And it's more of a guarantee than someone like Oshman who is playing against older, Serie A defenders, less mobile. Premier League, they're they're better defenders. They're more athletic defenders in the Premier League. That's a, that's a difference when you buy someone like Oshman who might not translate well into the Premier League, but we know Harry Kane does. Consistency, 
He's dropped below 0.5 goals per 90 once in his Premier League career. And that was in 21-22. Once. That's very, very, very impressive. And in that season, assists went mental. So, again, consistency. Goal scoring, playmaking in recent years. It guarantees you great performances. Connection with players. You know, he knows Rashford already, he knows Sancho a little bit, he knows Luke Shaw. You kind of know that connection is already there between players. You can kind of bank on that. You might find connections with other players in the squad. Ericsson as well also. He had a great connection with him at Spurs. So you kind of you place him in and he already knows some of the players, which helps him settle in the club, helps him maybe in the first few games. Again, something other targets don't have. It's just something to think about. Also weakening the rival. Not only doesn't Harry Kane make us better, it makes Spurs worse. And while Spurs aren't going to be challenging for the title, they might not be challenging for top four and might help us win against Spurs. So that could be that's something to think about when buying Harry Kane. Now cons, there aren't many cons to buying Harry Kane. It's Harry Kane. Just a couple of things. Age, 29, will be 30 in the summer. So are you going to be paying, like, another thing cost? Are you going to be paying £100 million, £100-plus £100 million, maybe, massive wages, four- or five-year contract to a player that will only give you three, four years compared to Oshman, who could give you seven, eight, nine? Something to think about. Something to think about also age with the squad as well. We're not the youngest squad in the league. We've got players like Casemiro, 31. De Gea is up in his 30s. Varane might be approaching 30 or in his 30s. So something to some think about in the squad. Would you would rather not have an age where we have to replace so many players in a few positions at once or have someone like Washington where we don't have to think about it for a few years maybe? Because we know with Harry Kane, in four years, we would need a new striker. Or when we, we bring him in, we need a young striker alongside him to help to understudy him to improve under Harry Kane and also lack of trophies and now I know it's not always fault of Spurs but you got you got to look at the consistency of which he hasn't been winning trophies and then some of those Spurs teams were amazing they were quite easily the second third even best team in the, in the country at some points he didn't turn up he's never turned up in the finals played him I don't know how many finals played him, but the recent ones. Euros final, he didn't turn up. In, he turned up in every game apart from the Euros final. The World Cup semi final, mate, I'm going to say, well, didn't turn up in that. Turned up in every World Cup game. League Cup final under Ryan Mason, didn't turn up. What other ones? Champions League final didn't turn up. He was a bit injured, but still didn't turn up. And then, I can't remember any of I think he was in one of the one at the start of his career. But yeah, he just doesn't turn up in these finals. He might turn up in big games. North London Derby's the top scorer ever, but is there a correlation between Spurs not winning anything and him being in the squad? Now, I'm not saying there is, but it's something to think about. Has he got that mindset to be the best to win the trophies, or is it more individualistic with him? That may be something to think about, because if you look at someone like Rooney... He sacrificed himself for the team. He sacrificed his numbers to help someone like Ronaldo because he knew Ronaldo would win in the league. Would Harry Kane do that? Would he sacrifice his goals to help the team win? We haven't seen that yet in his career. And we, we just don't know if that's something he's willing to do. We just don't know if that's something he's capable of. That's the thing. We just don't know because he hasn't actually won a trophy yet in his career, which is quite worrying for someone with all the goals. And it's just a little bit of a coincidence. And now taking that all into factor, would you sign Harry Kane? Yes. Would Eric Ten Hag sign Harry Kane? Yes. Would I sign Harry Kane? Yes. Come on, it's Harry Kane. Given the option of him and Oshman, I prefer Oshman. But Harry Kane, he will be amazing right away. I, d I don't see a world in it where it doesn't work, really. He will bring minimum 20 goals. And that's massive to a squad where... Really, only Rashford scores a lot of goals. Bruno chips in, but no one really else is a goal scorer. Bringing in a player that will bring goals, will bring assists as well. Maybe he won't have he won't have to burn off doing playing making like he did at Spurs. He he can revert back to where he was scoring 30, 40 goals a season. 
to that kind of style of play, being on the last shoulder defender, being at number nine, rather than having to drop back, because that's what Bruno, Sancho, Anthony Rashford can do a bit more. But being that target man, he can still do that. He's that still his game. I think that work really well in the squad. I think it'll work really well for some of our players as well. Like, I don't know how it will affect him, like Bruno as well, because Bruno is kind of like picks up similar positions to Harry Kane. But I think with someone like Ten Hag, he can't. He's such a great manager, he can find that to work where they can maybe interchange position at times because Harry Kane and Bruno can do both positions. Bruno likes going in behind sometimes, but Bruno also likes being reserved. And we saw it when RVP came in. What a player, like, what a world-class striker can do to a squad. They can take a team that are on the cusp of a title, but obviously the team in 2011-12 were lost at the league on the final day of the season. But we're not that far away. We will be within 15 points of the league title. With Harry Kane in the squad, instead of Val Vekos, instead of Ronaldo in his season, is that worth 15 points? Probably. And now the thing we have to see what maybe Ten Hag wants is someone like Harry Kane doesn't do the defensive work Oshman does. Oshman is a nightmare for defenders because he just presses all day and his athleticism, long limbs... They really annoy defenders. Harry Kane doesn't do that, but what he does do is he protects the ball better. He's, you know, better on the ball. He'll keep the ball more. You know, he got good back to goal game. He's got good in front of goal game, facing the goal. You know, what what's the caveat? Do you want a player who's better on the ball or better winning the ball back? With all the good play, ball playing we have in the squad. Maybe you want a bit more defensive work in Oshman, but also we haven't got elite, elite, elite ball players. We haven't got, you know, a Frankie de Jong midfield. We haven't got like Luka Modric's the ball retention are, are absolutely off charts. Maybe having someone like Harry Kane who can retain the ball a lot better than someone like Oshman, maybe that will work better. Who knows? But yeah, Harry Kane will be amazing sign for me. I see if he signs. Not my first choice, but come on, it's Harry Kane. You can't complain about someone sign that hurricane but it will make it will put pressure on Man United to win a title right now that's what it will do it will put pressure and put the clock on what Man United need to do under Eric Tanag very quick but yeah thanks for watching like subscribe put in your comments where you think we should sign your thoughts if we do sign hurricane yeah thanks for watching